beautiful and lovely. So I figured while I was charging my Fitbit on my computer, I would go ahead and make a couple of videos while I was sitting in here, and I'm just going to upload them straight to YouTube. Hopefully my computer's not too loud, because it seems like when I upload through um, YouTube, it usually is kind of loud. Why that is, I don't know. Um, I broke a couple of my nails. I'm a little aggravated by that. I'm a little aggravated by that. So anyways, the first video, this video is going to be about my feelings on the Mike Brown shootings and the the protests and riots that are going on. Um, I know I've seen my cousin made a video about this, and I, you know, I'm... Okay, the Mike Brown thing, okay. I... It's a crappy situation. It really is. It's a crappy situation. I'm sorry that it happened, but in all fairness, from what was being said, he robbed the store with his friend and then proceeded to get into an altercation with the officer, jump through his window, and try to disarm him. The officer was doing what needed to be done, and then after the altercation, he supposedly ran. So, the officer did what he had to do. Plain and simple. I mean, I, I, it, it wouldn't matter if Mike Brown was white, black, Hispanic, Mexican. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, if, if he was an Oompa Loompa. Um, it still does not, okay. What is going to come out of, I could see a peaceful protest. Okay, you guys need to be heard. Okay, I understand that. You know, be heard. Power to the people. Freedom of speech. Whatever. Okay? You guys are going out there. That's fine. You can protest. That's fine. You guys have the right to protest. But make it peaceful. I mean, there was protesting being done in Cleveland, too. You know, by where I live, and they weren't, I mean, yeah, they blocked traffic, but they didn't get to the extent of the people in Ferguson. Now, I understand that in Ferguson is where it happened, so people are a little bit more edgy. I understand that. But, um, to be burning people's businesses, flipping cop cars, you know, it's it's just ridiculous. I mean, what are you doing? What change is that going to bring? Besides getting yourself arrested or yourself shot. Um, plain and simple, any human being knows. You do not confront a police officer. You do not try to disarm a police officer by law if they are being threatened or attacked then yes, they have the right to protect themselves. Um, now whether he was turning himself in and he was coming back with his hands up, unarmed, and the officer shot him again, even though he was unarmed. Now whether he didn't know he was unarmed and he was turning himself in, I don't know. Nobody knows for sure what happened except for the people that were involved and the people that were there. There were so many different stories, nothing linked up. You know, some people said he was on a, or he was turning himself in, some people said he ran. I mean, it's just, nobody knows for sure what happened except for the people that were involved and the people that were there. So, you can't always go by what people say. Hearsay is hearsay. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's a crappy situation. I'm sorry that he had to die. Nobody deserves to die. No matter what. And from what I understand, he was unarmed. He did, though, attack the police officer, but he was unarmed, from what I understand. He didn't, like, shoot the store clerk that he robbed the store. He just kind of roughed him up a bit and shoved him, um, from what I understand. But Mike Brown was a pretty big kid. Dude. I don't know how old, I can't remember how old he was, but he was pretty big. And, I mean, the, the store clerk was kind of small compared to him, and he was, I mean, really, was it worth a pack of cigarellos? I mean, I really don't see that it was. So, but, it's 
it, it's a crappy situation, and I'm really sorry that it went on. Um, but as far as the riots go, I mean, it's really not going to change anything. It's not going to bring him back, and it's not going to change anything. The verdict has been read. The verdict's done. The cop's not losing his job over this. There's nothing you can do about it. I understand that you're upset. I understand that you're upset. You know, but peaceful protest. You know, make a sign. Be like, this is wrong. Don't flip over a cop car. Or attack people. Or set people's businesses on fire. Because do you know what that does to a person? Do you know what you're doing to other people? These people were not even involved in these in these protests. They weren't involved in the incident. They weren't involved with the police department. And you guys are burning their businesses to the ground. And how, I mean, how does that even, even be remotely justified? It's not. It's not. All you're doing is taking your anger and your frustration out on somebody else. Somebody else that wasn't even involved in this to begin with. And you're hurting them. Some of these people's businesses were like their life, <gasps> livelihood. And you like took that away from them. It's terrible. It's terrible. So, I mean, it's a crappy situation. Nobody deserves to die. Nobody deserves to die. But, and yes, there's been a lot of officer-related deaths. I understand that. I mean, there was one right by me, which I was actually going to make a video about next. I'll let you know how I feel about that one. Um, I wanted to wait to make a video about that one because they're just releasing the the um, surveillance video and I wanted to see the surveillance video for myself but anyways that'll be the next video so anyways what I'm saying is I understand that he's gone there's nothing you can do his friend's not his friend's not um I, I don't know it's a crappy situation it's a crappy situation um but yeah if you're gonna protest protest that's fine. Like I said, if you want to protest, that's fine. That's all. It's more power to you, but try to be peaceful about it. I mean, hurting other people is not the way to get your point across. It's a good way to get yourself arrested or a good way to get shot yourself. And what point is that going to get across? Are you trying to egg the police on so they'll shoot you so you can have them arrested or have them indicted? I mean, it really doesn't. It doesn't do anything um you know I've seen a lot of like videos of the protests that went on um it is terrible like I've seen the ones in Cleveland Ohio and they they block traffic they block traffic but they didn't burn bridges or burn businesses or flip over cop cars no they literally just walked and blocked off traffic. And they did eventually move. They moved when they had to. I mean, they, they understood, you know, it's getting a little out of hand. People do have to get places. So, you know, and then I, I seen one of um, people in Philadelphia. They pro protested. It was a peaceful protest. You know, they blocked off one road. A couple of people got a little aggravated and was like, who are you to tell us where we can't walk? And eventually the, the police officers did let them through um, because they knew that, you know, they were right. You can't really tell them where they can and cannot protest. You know, if they want to walk somewhere, they want to walk somewhere. I mean, it's the best way to do it without causing conflict. And they weren't hurting anybody. They were just peacefully protesting. And people in Ferguson, on the other hand, were not peacefully protesting. They were pretty much full out rioting. That's ridiculous. Sorry to say, but that's just ridiculous. I understand you guys are upset. I understand it's an upsetting situation. And we don't know exactly what happened. The only people that know exactly what happened are the people that were there. And like I said, not everybody's stories are made up. So, it is what it is. I mean, I really hope that the, the protests and the rights stop. Um, I know this is the protesting and stuff has been going on since like Monday. It's now Wednesday. So hopefully, hopefully this gets a little better. 
totally escaped me, but I don't know, though, because they, they are just, you know, going through this investigation now with the, the shooting of the 12 year old boy in Cleveland, so, and it's, like, back-to-back, -back. these things are back-to-back, -back, which just probably isn't a good thing, so, but I'm gonna go, I mean, this was my video on Mike Brown, I'm going to make my video on Tamir Rice next, um, I'm gonna be as respectful as possible for the family's sake, like I said, we don't know what happened with Mike Brown. We don't know the whole story. We do know that he robbed the store. That's a given. It was on tape. As far as everything else that went on, we don't know. We don't know. So, in respect to his family, I'm not going to say he did or did not attack the cop. And I'm not going to say that the cop did or did not sh shoot him out of contact. But, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I understand that's a crappy situation. We don't know exactly what happened, and I'm sorry that it happened. I'm sorry that he's dead. I mean, I believe that any anybody could be disarmed rather than killed. That's my feeling. I don't believe anybody should be killed unless they're trying to kill somebody else, and that's the only way to get them to stop. Other than that, I think anybody should just be disarmed and whatnot. So anyways, but what I'm trying to say is, Peaceful protest, no rioting. Rioting's ridiculous. Rioting's just not good. All you're doing is hurting people that don't deserve to be hurt. You don't know these people. These people are running their businesses. They're, you know, some of these officers are just doing their job. And I know everybody's like, oh, you know, you're saying, oh, they're just doing their job, but, and they don't have a real job, you know. But these people, they really do do a lot for us. As much as you guys think, some people might think that, you know, cops are crooked, they don't, they don't give a crap about anybody but themselves, you know, they're just in it for a paycheck and it's not even a real good paycheck. Look, think of that the next time that you get a car accident, or somebody breaks into your home, or something like that happens, and the only person you have to call is that officer that you just verbally attacked and said, I don't want nothing to do with the officers. Think about that the next time your house gets broken into or somebody attacks you or you get a car accident or hell, you break down on the side of the road. The officer is usually the first one to stop and be like, hey, do you need assistance? I grew up not always liking police officers. They were around a lot when I was growing up. And I have to say, even though it wasn't always on good terms, I have full utmost respect for anybody in, in uniform, whether it be military, fire department, um, doctors, whatever. Whatever your job is, I have full utmost respect for you. So, yes, not all officers are on the up and up. I'm sure there's shady cops out there. In fact, I know there are. But, writing because one cop may have or may have not had made a mistake and did something stupid is no reason to ruin many others' lives by rioting and setting businesses on fire, setting cops' cars on fire, flipping cop cars over. I'm sorry, but it's just unacceptable unacceptable. Um, that's just how I feel. I'm allowed to state my opinion. You guys are allowed to state your opinion. I'm not going to fault you for your opinion. That's just my opinion. I, I have full utmost respect for officers. My, my husband gets irritated with cops. Mostly because he gets pulled over a lot. But hey, like I said, I've had cops at my house plenty of times when I was growing up. You know, I've watched them arrest my parents more than one crazy, maybe on more than one occasion. Um, I've seen a lot of bad things, but do I fault all cops because a couple of cops may have done things that I didn't quite agree with? No. No, I don't. So just remember, we're all human beings here. Whether you're black, white, Hispanic, whatever, we're all humans. We're all human beings. 
whether you're gay, straight, it doesn't matter. We're all human beings, we all make choices. You just have to decide whether or not your choices are smart choices or bad choices. Mike Brown's choice? Bad choice. Bad choice to rob a store. That clerk could have had a gun and shot him when he stole from him. Or when he attacked him. Um, bad choice. Jumping through a cop car because you're aggravated and he told you to move to the sidewalk. Bad choice. Bad choice to flip over a cop car and burn down businesses. Bad choice. Good choice. Protesting something you really feel deeply about. Peacefully. Good choice. So what I'm saying is, you have to weigh your choices here. You have your good choices and your bad choices. You have to decide which one's the better. I mean, you know what the laws are. You know what our laws are. We, we are a lot more free than some countries. You know, it, it could be a lot worse. It really could. Yes, life is crappy. I'm sorry, I'm snuffly because I... I've had the flu, but, you know, things could be a lot worse. Yes, there's crappy things that happen every day. In fact, I'm going to make another video about the next one. That's also a crappy situation, but, like I said, you got to weigh the good and the bad. you got to make your decisions. It's all, all up to choice. It's all up to choice. If I were to choose to, say... drink until I'm sick. That's my choice. And then wake up the next morning feeling absolutely terrible or getting alcohol poisoning. You know, that's my choice and I have to live with the effect of it afterwards. You know, you gotta think of right and wrong too. Obviously, Mike Brown did not know what right and wrong was because he decided to rob a store. That's just wrong in my book. Sorry, but it is. A pack of cigarillos? Really? Was it really worth stealing a pack of cigarillos? I think not. They're not that expensive. And especially for something that's bad for your health. And honestly, I've seen a lot of pictures of Mike Brown online going around of him holding guns and drinking and all sorts of stuff. And I could say a lot of mean things about him, but I'm not going to. Because those were his choices. And those were his choices in life. He decided to do all that stuff. You just have to decide, like, whether or not your choices... I mean, you have to know, like... Is this... You have to think... Okay, if I do this, what could happen? Weigh the good and the bad. What could happen if I did this? If I went and robbed the store, what 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 could happen? Is it really worth? What could happen was is, is it really worth possibly either going to jail or losing my life or whatever? Is it really worth that? Just to be a little gangster and steal from a store? I think not. So think about your choices. Think about the options before you do anything. And if you're going to protest, un momento, cook. I will text you back in a minute. Um, if, if, think about your choices. If you're going to choose to protest, fine. Do it peacefully. Do whatever you have to do. You know, I'm not going to fault you for your choices. I may not agree with them, though. And I'm not going to back bad choices. Sorry. But, it's your life. Do what you want. Everybody's going to do what they want. I'm just saying, in my opinion, you guys have your opinion. You're more than free to have your opinion. I'm not going to fault you for it. I'm just saying how I feel. So, anyways, on that note, I'm going to end this video. And then I'm going to start the next one. Alright. I love you all. You are all in my heart. Stay safe out there, guys. And... I